Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We are in the 8235R, and I just got started VTing. They're calling for rain this afternoon. Travis is on top of the hill. We are officially planting corn. We're out of my place, and they are calling for rain this afternoon. So hopefully we can get this farm done at least by then. But I heard last heard the rain's supposed to start at one o'clock. They've been changing the forecast constantly. So it's really hard to say when it's actually gonna rain. But I'm out here working down the chiseled ground that I had chiseled down in one of our previous videos. Um, this is all going to corn out here. We had only five acres of soybeans on this farm. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty nice day. We've had 90 degree temperatures the last couple days, pretty much all this week. So hopefully today it cools down a little bit if it does rain. Um, there, we did have crescenting issues on the very first field that we planted, but um, we're waiting until it rains to see how that's going to turn out. So, bittersweet. We want the rain, but we also don't. I need to lower the VT a little bit because I was looking at my last pass, and you can see that it's not completely leveling out the chiseled ground. So, all you do is come to the depth control here and we want to turn it deeper five turns equals one inch so we'll turn it counterclockwise set it down about half an inch let's see if i like that a little better Well, that could have been very bad. Well, it is very bad. It could have been worse. I just pulled into Travis's place because we're on the last field. This is the last farm that needs to get worked up with the VT, and the wheel just fell off. The bearing went out of it. I noticed that the wheel was wobbling in the last field. I got out and looked at it, and I couldn't tell that anything was wrong with it. Um, all the lug knots and everything were tight, so I just figured that it was from pulling it across the chiseled ground that it looked like it was wobbling and no, um, the wheel just fell off. So if it happened 300 feet back, it could have been really bad. It would have happened on the road, but I don't know. The tire's all right. Looks like the wheel rim is fine. The hub might be screwed though. Um, when it fell off, it looks like it might have chipped it here, so I don't know. I'm gonna go pick Travis up. We're going to try to figure out how we can get the VT up and running again. Sooner than later, hopefully. I got it out of the way at least.
So since Travis has been over greasing the wheels and the VT. <laughs> So we got new bearings and races for the wheel hubs. Um, one of the wheel hubs is kind of jacked, but fortunately uh, I'm ordering a new one from Rhino. But we patched it for now to get us through, just to get the next 80 acres done, and then we'll worry about changing that out over the summer. So. Uh, leading theory is on the reason of failure is because we were over greasing them when we took the hubs off. There was a lot of grease in them. But live and learn, I guess. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be fair, until we found out the trailers can be, uh, wheels could be over greased. Yeah, it's just the, the seal in the back, so if you put too much grease in it, it's got to go somewhere. Yep. But to be fair, though, these didn't have any grease puking out the back. Yeah. So it's not like any dirt could have really gotten up in them. No. But the thing, the thing is, though, this thing sees a lot of road time. I mean, when you start adding up between farms here, there, left, and right. Yeah. Hold up on it. Yeah. Hold it straight. It's straight. Be good to go. You can sit there and hold it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Scary. It's not going on. No, it's not. You got the burr. Some more. Like a glove. He's expensive. That was funny. Wrong way. Seriously? Yep. Oh. Big old glob of mouse poop. Yep. Well, that was four hours of fun. We just got the VT back together, and I kind of am wondering if that wasn't what it was, is that I just greased it too much. Um, you're not supposed to really over grease those wheels, and I don't think I've been greasing it that heavy lately, but I know in previous years, when we first got it, that I did uh, regularly grease those. Um, they weren't overflowing, you know, grease wasn't flown out of them but there was a lot of grease in the one that we pulled in one of the ones that we pulled off so it should be working good for now I did order parts from Rhino to get a new spindle because when the spindle dropped in the ground over here um, it, it might have tweaked it just a little bit and we were looking at it going yeah we should really get a replacement for that so um, we got it working. I'm confident, more than confident, that it's gonna work just fine for the foreseeable future. But I'm thinking that come this summer, we'll pull that spindle off and replace it. Uh, by the looks of it, there's just one bolt that goes through the center of it, and you should be able to pull it out, which should be pretty easy to do. But uh, I ordered the parts from Rhino, and they're typically really good at stuff, uh, sending stuff out, so I could see us getting that by the first thing next week, honestly. It's it's Friday now, and I didn't call and order the parts until about two o'clock, so I, I could honestly see them showing up by Monday. We're gonna head back out to my place now, work on the planter, because that broke down, and we decided the best way to go about it was just to attack them both at the same time. So they, they were calling for rain tonight, but they keep pushing it back, so we just wanna get the corn out at my place put in, so then that farm's done. And I'm not totally sure if I'm gonna 
get to work on this yet tonight. Maybe, maybe we'll see what the weather does. But he's got a soybean strip here or two up front that he can see down that that doesn't need to be VT. So let's head out to my place. So I'm gonna use a very delicate, strategic tool meant for this specific job. I don't think I'm gonna get enough torque. Not entirely sure what happened there. So I was just wondering. So it does, we found that from last year. It does stupid stuff like this. There's usually a reason. It's for me, it's not you. Rhino Ag making tracks. Hannah, we noticed that while at Louisville, you had a belt buckle of this style. It took a while for us to, the one Rhino used to have. For us to the, what? For us to the one? Probably for us to find the one. The Louisville, you had a belt buckle of this style. It took a while for us. To the one? To find the one? one Rhino used to have, but we did it. We hope you will wear it and make Ryan a little jealous. <laughs> okay, but to be fair, I saw that she had a package from Rhino. I'm like, you gotta oh, open this while I'm here. To me. Yeah. Let's see the belt buckle. Attention, Hannah. I'm cooler than you. <laughs> This is so cool. Well, I got a big, nice plaque, the one on my office wall. Oh, is that going to be your belt buckle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, that is really cool. Hey. That's neat. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. Nice jorts. It's hot outside, <laughs> and this is all I can wear to work. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's awesome, and I love it. Thank you very much. Seems like that's working now. Luckily, all of that is coming off next year. The uh, drive wheel and all those shafts because we're going to electric drives. Now planning can be a tough time when it comes to filming. So I'm gonna split this video up into multiple parts. That is pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I'll be sure to put the next video up in the end screen into one of these slides here. If uh, you get the chance, head over and check that video out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.